Hey, welcome guy. Welcome back guys. Hope you have fun doing this plotting. Uh, I always like coordinate grids and we get to go ahead and plot. Hey, we're going to be working on the draw it problem. It's kind of like a we do. I want to make sure that you could get most of it done. If not, I'm here to help you out. So let's get started with it. The coordinate plane below shows the coordinates for home plate first base and third base of a baseball field. Second base will be placed so that all four bases are the vertices or the sides of a square. So we see that the home plate is the coordinate 10, 2. So I always like to do that, make sure it's 10, 2. That lets me know where that's at, okay? I see that first base is at 18, 10. It's home plate, first. We need second. We don't have second, so we're guessing on that. And third is at 2 and 10. Mm -mm. So they give us, what is the X and Y coordinate for second base? The first one they give us is 10, 18. So, you know what? Let's look. So if I do 10 and go straight up here to 18, let's see here. I can go ahead and maybe plot that there. That's 10. I see that it's straight a line here. I see that one is straight a line here. So that might be it. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16 spaces between there. So if I start here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. You know what? We may have gotten it. So I'm going to look at this one here. This is a good possibility. 10, 20. If I were to do 10, 20, we'll put it all the way out of here. And that does not look like it would be square or even. Another thing that I'm seeing is that this one is aligned with that. And home plate should be aligned with second. So I'm looking at 10 is going to be our X. I just got to find out what our Y is. And then we have 10, 10 is the next one. So that'll be right here in the middle. No, that's the pitcher's mound. So... I don't think that would be it. So we can scratch that one out. It's not here. It's got to be there. So for me, I'm looking at something that's kind of funny. Remember that home plate is on 10, 2. And third base is on 2, 10. Aren't these like kind of the opposites there? So maybe 10, 18 might be the correct one. We counted the spaces in between. This was 16 and that was 16. And if I were to draw it out, that will form a square. So yeah, I think 10, 18 is the correct answer. It is. <laughs> All right. So I hope that's what you got for that. I want to try something different now. I want to look at this and let's look at this here. It says the vertices of a figure are shown in the table below. We're going to be working with tables. It could be an in and out input output table, or it could be a table that's going to show us data. And then we're going to have to do something on the graph. Either got to check to see if we have 
different answers because it's an input output. There's going to be a rule and something we have to decide on. Or is it data points and it's plotting something in the graph? This one looks like it's a plotter and we have to, which of the following coordinate planes correctly display the figure. So we're going to take these coordinate pairs and see which one of these is the correct one. So the first X that I look at is eight. So I know I start at the origin eight and go up three. Oh, that one's wrong. So that lets me know that if I don't have eight, three, that's going to be wrong already. So I can scratch that one out. Let's look at B. I have eight, one, two, three, four, six, eight, and I go up three. That looks good so far, so that one looks good. Uh, the next one we have is five, is two, X going up five, one, two, three, four, five. That one looks good on B. Okay, and the next one we have is five. One, two, three, four, five, and it goes up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, so far that looks good. Well, this is a maybe. Let me check C. The first one we're looking for is we're going to go all the way out to the eight. Then we go up one, two, three, up. We don't have that one, so that scratches that one out. Same here, we go up to eight, go up three, nope. So our answer is B. Guys, these are looking pretty good. This is something that I wanted to show you. I'm taking my time, I want you to look at it. I want you to make sure that you are able to do that. So I wanna pause and say, how did I check to make sure that this was correct? What did we look at? Excellent. Yes, we looked at the coordinate points to make sure they were correct. When they were correct, we went ahead and did and chose the right answer. Excellent job, way to go. Hey, let's get back to the slides and see what we're gonna be doing next. Oh, you're gonna have a time to climb. You're gonna be doing this problem in here and a couple of others. Once you're done with that, you'll be coming back to me and I will give you the answers and see where we go from there. See you in the next video.